Following lengthy deliberations, Tipperary announced a side showing three changes from the semi-final. John Madden starts a championship match for the first time and takes the right corner back spot. John Kennedy is given the troublesome centre-half back position, while Conor Stakelham gets a rare opportunity to show his paces at the highest level. Indeed, Stakelham, whose brother Richie, captain the 87 squad, has been handed the number 12 shirt with John Lahey, surprisingly at full forward. However, for this 101st provincial decider, Cork field a team with seven newcomers to Munster final day. Among them, wing back Shawnee McCarthy and Kieran McGuckin, and the midfield duo of Pat Buckley and Brendan O'Sullivan. However, at six foot five inches, newcomer Mark Foley certainly has the physique to trouble tip, while Ger Fitzgerald and Kevin Hennessy shared four goals and six points in the semi final. Declan Ryan, on the side, making much headway so far. Jim Cashman. Neatly caught, Knight sidestep as well by Tony O'Sullivan, inside the 45 metres, Cork looking for the opening score. And Tony O'Sullivan supplies it to them, as Cork seek to register their 45th monster victory this afternoon. Connell Bonner. Cork leading by the only point we've had in the first five minutes of this monster final, Pat Fox. Towards Michael Cleary, brought down by Kieran McGuckin. Cleary once again. Expected the ball to come his way. English to try and keep it in play. Against John Considine. Trying to make a better angle for himself. Floated in. Fox going in there for it. Comes back out towards English. Jim Cashman blocked it down. And it's Connor Stoker and it puts it over the bar. Sides on level terms, Connor Stakelham from Boris Allais getting the tip, equalising score. John Lahey running across, perfectly for a shoulder it seemed, but Lahey was protesting about something. Brendan O'Sullivan, a good pick-up, this is a tenacious performance by Cork in these opening minutes. Ger Fitzgerald from well out the field, and he's put it over the bar, and Cork are back in front once again. Ger Fitzgerald, who won an All-Ireland medal four years ago. John Madden, stopped by Mark Foley. John Kennedy, Carlos, as Tony O'Sullivan comes forward, looking for his own second point of the match, and again he's quite unerring with his finish. Cork leading by two points, three points to one. Tony O'Sullivan, who missed the semi-final because of a hand injury, making his presence felt. Quarter of an hour gone, and Cork lead by three points to one. Here's Buckley. Wherever he runs, there's a Tipperary man. It's given all neat control in the boss. Swept inside towards Ger Fitzgerald, there against Bobby Ryan. Kevin Hennessy tried to make a diagonal run to Weissel and Bobby Ryan. A perfect goal, and he breaks for Mark Foley. And it's gone over the bar. Cork's fourth point, the first for Mark Foley. Jim Cashman. Ger Fitzgerald, magnificent catch against Bobby Ryan, who's clearly in some trouble against Ger Fitzgerald. Cork again raiding, but Paul Delaney did really well to hook the forward and preventing him, prevent him from getting in the shot. And Bobby Ryan, number four, will breathe a mighty sigh of relief, I think. Here's Connell Bonner. Lovely pickup. Good stylish play across towards. Connor Stakelham. Stakelham has got tips only points so far, and now he's got another one. What an inspirational choice to play him at left half forward. Firing well over on that left hand side, and he's the one who gets tips opening two points in this monster final. David Quirk. Driving it in towards the inside forward, Ster Fitzgerald. Again, trying to steal inside Bobby Ryan, and again the defence in trouble of Ken Hogan, and the goalkeeper comes to their rescue, and it's Noel Sheehy who completes the clearance. Well, Ken Hogan has made some very fine saves in his time, many of them of a very spectacular nature. This one was more of an interception, being in the right place at the right time, as Ger Fitzgerald was coming through, having beaten Bobby Ryan, the goalkeeper doing well, may have come off his legs, and Noel Sheehy swept it away from danger. Michael Cleary, going to be the taker. 
Well, he's been outstanding form at club level lately. And he's cut it back to just a one-point position, four points to three, with his first point of the afternoon. Not the first point we've had from a free -out. So ten minutes to go to half-time. Quite a low-scoring match. Cork still leading by four points to three. Looking for the opening goal as Ken Hogan comes out and makes a fine save. That's a great piece of goalkeeping. Nothing flashy about it, but good solid style. A fine catch and a good delivery as he looked up to spot Joe Hayes in the space. John Considine. He's doing well at right corner back. Sarsman against Conor Stakelin. Two of the players who would not have experienced once to final day activity in the past. Sean McCarthy. John Kennedy. Beaten by Mark Foley. The tall man trying to make his presence felt and doing so with a vengeance. He's got his second point. And Cork extend their lead to five points to three. Joe Hayes. Again, the Cork defence committing themselves. Two men go for that one ball. They were lucky to get away with it. Dennis Walsh gets it out into the centre. David Quirk here. The Middleton youngster. He might well be happier back in a half back position. But making his presence felt in the attack just now. And he boots it high and he's put it over the bar. A first point of the game for David Quirk. A sixth point for Cork. the side who were rank outsiders going into the contest and this is the 29th clash between these counties in a Munster hurling final he was racing past Paul Delaney and finally he resorted to the boot to belt it over Ken Hogan's crossbar back live however it's a goal Michael Cleary has put the sides on level terms straight from the puck out on level terms, the goal by Michael Cleary after 28 minutes of the first half. John Considine beaten for once as Cleary went by. John Kennedy waits, collects, delivering with the hand to John Lahey. Kieran McGuckin tries to close it down for Lorne as Lahey has put it over the bar. Gets his first point. And Kip go in front for the first time in the match. Hayes once again, the architect of so much of their good play from midfield. He's certainly providing the ammunition. Nicky English, a little off colour in the opening 30 minutes. Showing some speed now. And showing his class from the 45 metre line. Gets his first point. And now four of the temporary forward line has scored in the game. Tipperary now in flowing style, watches English, picked it up on the left-hand side, raced across, ahead there of Dennis Walsh, lobbed it over the bar, and that's now a goal and three points in the last couple of minutes. Declan Ryan. Declan Carr. Lobbed in dangerously, and it's gone in! It got a touch, I think, from Nicky English. Well, he may have been subdued for the opening, 30 minutes of this tie, but he's really made his presence felt in the last five minutes or so. Declan Carr floated in a beauty. Watch for English as it dropped in, just getting the touch and directing it outside, Jerk Cunningham and in. Kieran McGuckin. Whipped in beautifully. Cork needing a score. And they've got it for Mark Foley. But is it inside the score? It isn't. It's a goal. Yes, a goal. Goal by Mark Foley in injury time in the first half. McGuckin dropped it in beautifully. Watch as they rose up for it here, and it was Foley who got that final contact. The end of a pulsating first half. Jeff Fitzgerald playing his part. Two temporary goals by Cleary and by English, but Mark Foley replies late in the first half, indeed in injury time to set up what we hope will be a fascinating second half.